Please welcome Teresa Judais and her husband, Louis Ruelas. You two are here. Look at the lovebirds. Y'all look good. Thank you for good. having us. Thank you. Absolutely. Now, I have to say, Louis, the last time I saw you, uh, you were buying my house in yes. New Jersey. Did I leave it in good condition? You did. You did. Okay. I just have one confession to make. You know how when you sell a house, there's fixtures that are on yeah. the wall? You, you took a lot of things, right? I took a lot of the fixtures. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sorry. It's all good. <laughs> but I want to say congratulations to both of you Thank on you. your marriage. Thank you. And, oh, I love Thank you. And also, I saw you. You were on the cover of New Jersey Bride. Yes. Congratulations. Thank Look you. how beautiful. Yeah, thank Look how you. beautiful you both look. Okay, so I always like to know how people met. So is it true that your love story began on the Jersey Shore? Yeah. Yes. What happened? Um, walking, believe it or not, really? I met him walking. So anybody thinks that it can't happen, it could happen. Okay. I swear, just walking. And I didn't even want to go walking that day. Really? My, yeah, I was hungover from the night before. Mm -hmm. And my girlfriend, and it was like 11.30 in the afternoon, and I never go walking at 11.30, like in the summertime. Because <laughs> like you usually go first thing in the morning. Yes. So she's like, come on, we're going. I'm like, I don't want to go. I'm like, it's too hot now. She's like, let's go. And she, like my girlfriend pushed right. me. And I was like, all right, so we started walking. And then uh, we're walking by. He's leaving his shore house. He rented it for the week. Right. Okay. So he was packing up, and I and he has he had a white Range Rover, with black uh -huh. rims, and that was a car I had. Oh really? And I'm like pointing at his car. I'm like that that guy has my car that I just traded in. Really? So I, I was just pointing, and he I guess he thought I was waving, so he started waving. <laughs> yeah. And then my friend said, um, I was with a married friend and a yeah. single friend. Yeah. So my married friend went up. To, she's like, I'm gonna go talk to him. <laughs> So she went to go talk to him, and they met in the middle, you know, with the, yeah. at the Jersey Shore, there's grass. So he started walking, she started walking, they started talking in the middle. And then I said to my other girlfriend, I'm like, well, let's not leave her by herself there. Gotta so go. we went, and we, you know, we went up to him, and then I'm like, hi, I'm Teresa. So everyone introduced themselves. And that was it. And then we, I don't even remember what we said, but we talked real quick. And then he had two business cards on him. He gave me one. He gave my other girlfriend one. And oh, that so was you it. got the girlfriend. You got her on your side. So, and that was it. We walked through, and then I started walking away. Yeah. And then he um, came up in his car uh -huh. with his son in the back seat and yeah. his girlfriend. He's like, my son wanted to know why I didn't ask for your number, Teresa. Oh. And then that's how I met him. And that's how you guys well, and got then, him. Yeah. Yeah, and then I didn't want to blur out my n number right. in front of his son because yes. I was embarrassed. Uh -huh. So I was like, well, I have your business card and I'll text you. The number. So then my girlfriend, she's like, and after we walked away, um, my girlfriend took my phone. She's like, I'm texting him right now. And she texted him, and that was yeah, it. texted each other. I want to let you know, I'd have been at the Jersey Shore three times. <laughs> That's what I mean. <laughs> well, first of all, I was on a scooter, so maybe I need to walk and get off that on scooter. But that is such a great story. Okay. And, and I want, can I add one more yes. thing? Yes. Because like anybody that doesn't believe this, I never, I lost both my parents. Yes. And I swear to you, I prayed to my parents. Someone said, if you want something, you should ask your parents. They, they'll really? help you. So I, I looked up in the sky three weeks before that. Yeah. And I, and I poured my guts out to my parents. I'm like, Ma, Papa, um, I'm Italian, so I said, yes. I'm like, Ma, Papa, um, send me a guy that's everything you've ever wanted for me and more. On Bay Boulevard, that's the street I met Louis on. Really? Like, I swear to God, I swear. So your parents were listening. Yes, I swear. That's why I don't have a man. If I start praying to my daddy, I ain't gonna never get nobody. I love that girl. <laughs> Teresa, you know, it was such a, because I watched your wedding, and I or the pictures, yeah. and I remember your wedding hair. Your wedding hair broke the internet, girl. Yeah. <laughs> you had over 1,500 yeah. bobby pins. Yeah. The, 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 it, your hair cost 10 grand. Like, was everybody surprised? Like, this wedding, how, was it heavy? It was heavy at first, Yes. because I was really nervous. So at first, like, everything was bothering me, you know? Yeah. But then after I walked through those chapel doors, and I, I, it all went away. When I saw Louis' face, I'm like, it all went away. So, yeah. Louis, when you saw Teresa when she came through the chapel with all of that hair, what did you think? I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I first saw her on the, on the first look. My mother walked me over to her right. blindfolded, uh. and that's when I first saw her inside, the, inside our, uh, our wedding hall. Um, yeah. 
and it was beautiful. It was, she was asking me, what do you think of my hair? I'm like, you just look gorgeous. I couldn't really see the hair yet because I was still nervous myself. Right. But um, uh, it, was, it was a really magical moment there moving into, into, the, into the day. It you know, it's hard to, yeah. you just, even your, your wedding, like you go and you, you ha it's the reception, then you finally get to your room. Mm -hmm. It's your wedding night. It's hard enough, you know, trying to take your uh, dress yeah. off. How did you get that hair off, Louie? Uh, <laughs> my makeup artist, Priscilla, right. she, we were hanging out afterwards on our balcony because the uh -huh. hotel was right there on the, yeah. where the reception hall was. And she, it took her 45 minutes to take it out. Yeah. To get the, Maybe longer, a little longer. That's yeah. not even back. I got yeah. seven in mine and you can't, <laughs> you can hit, this wig ain't going nowhere. So. <laughs> Oh my gosh, now, Louis, since Teresa's on a reality show uh, and a celebrity, did that make you kind of hesitant to date her? Because it's a lot. In the, be in the beginning, uh, in the beginning, no, it was, it was COVID, so it was quiet, you know? So okay. there was very, yeah, it was very, was we were walking, we were, weren't going <laughs> right. to restaurants, you know, it was like really quiet. Family time, private time, that's where, where we actually, we really grew together, we bonded, because yeah. there was no, um, there was no showing off, you know. In a yeah, so you just thought this is nice. Yeah. This is what it's going. Yeah, yeah. Be. So yeah, let's go for a walk, and that's our date. So it was really, it was really nice. But um, it was definitely a different world to walk into. Okay, wait a minute, Teresa. Yeah. You did not warn Louis what was coming with dating. No, you. she makes it all. She's like, everything's fine. Everything's gonna be okay. Like, like, what? I, I, <laughs> I, yeah. oh, I know. Well, like you know, I know there's vultures. I know. I get it. Like, and everyone sees that. And yeah. I, mm -hmm. I, I just said to just. Just follow my lead, you know. <laughs> just follow my lead, and you know. And then, unfortunately, it, it got hairy. It did, yes. you know, because of the you know the whole family thing, which, you know. Yeah. It, it is what it is. It is. I mean, it was so much that came at you. I don't know if you were so prepared and I feel for it, bad for him. Yeah, I, and I always say sorry because it's <laughs> a, like you know, it's not it's not easy. It's, this is it's really not. It's a different world. Yeah. Different world. Yeah. I know when Andy Cohen came on here last week, he said he wanted me to ask you, Louis. Were, were you surprised when all of the women came for you? Um, no, because they're, they're, they're fighting for my wife's seat. So they have to, you know? Like, so if they're going to go for her, they're going to come for me. You know? so you. I'm, I'm next in line. So yeah. a lot of it after a little while I expected, but then it was like, yeah. I was like, damn, they really want your seat bad. You know? So, <laughs> I know. It is, a, yeah, and, and you found that out rather and quickly. They can't, yeah, and they can't come for me, so of course they went they for my honey, and then I was like, no, you're not doing that, you know? No. <laughs> I love this, because so y'all were both protective of each other. I was very protective yeah. of him, yeah, I was. Yes. And same here, because it's been, it's been, uh, it's been, you know, it's been hard watching Teresa being alone. After being together, looking back, watching yeah. the history of the shows, seeing the truth mm -hmm. behind things, or some truth behind things, yeah. you know? And it was, uh, I just wanted to be by her side, so. Well, that's, you know, it's so, I, I, I love hearing you say that because, you know, this, the finale, the New Jersey Housewives finale was so explosive. I mean, it got so crazy because you fought with your brother Joe uh, over your sister-in-law, Melissa, and she says that, you know, the rumor that she cheated on Joe was due to you and you were trying to keep the cheating rumors going. What do you say to all that? It's, if you watch the, the whole show, you'll see, like, I had nothing to do with it. Louie told him privately, and she said she knew about this six months prior to us even started to film, so read between the lines. Okay, yeah. so <laughs> you're saying that the rumor was true? That No, she, she said she knew about this six months before right. we even started okay. filming. Like, Louis told my brother privately yes. about the rumor, because yeah. he wanted him to get in front of it. Right. Because he didn't want what happened to him. I watched what was so going on So she knew, you know? so when it exploded, yeah. so you were saying, you, she, you knew. Exactly, she knew yeah. all this was going down. So it's like, right. and then like, why pin it on me? I had nothing to do with it. It's like, because I'm the easy target, I'm the sister-in-law. Yeah. So of course, you know, you get away with it with family, but like, you can't go after, the person, you should really be going after the person that really put it out there. But I guess you're afraid that they're afraid of that person. Yeah. Maybe they know more. You Do know? you, I mean, it, it, because this is your family, it's your sister in law, it, you know, you've been fighting with your brother. So next season going into it, do you think that you could possibly, y'all could get together and mend? Um, this has been going on for a long time. <laughs> like, I just need time to heal. Like, I need, I, need, I want to focus on our family. Yeah. Like I have, you know, four daughters and I have two stepsons, two stepsons four sons, dogs. Yeah. So I need to, yeah, I just want to focus on our family. And, you know, and, and at this point in our life, like, that's what we need to do. Like, you, you know, it's like, so what you forget gonna do about next the nonsense. Y'all just going to stare at each other? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. Girl, I... <laughs> I, and, and I hope that works out for you. Um, you. I want to congratulate you uh, because you have a wedding special, Teresa yeah. Gets Married, uh, which is coming out. So, 
In this special, what are you excited most for people to see? Um, I guess um, I want, I, w I can't wait to relive it myself because yeah. there's a lot of things that I missed. Yes. You know, because like, after we got married, then we took pictures and, yes. but like, I had, we had so much entertainment. And I just want everyone to see our love and I want people not to give up on love. And you know, that, sure. you know, there's, yeah. if you want love, you'll definitely find it because I never thought I, I would find love again. Yeah. And I did. So. And you did. You prayed to your mother and your father. Yes, I really did. You found love. Yes.